Hello, y'all. Welcome to the nighttime here in New York. Um, we're gonna try to administer Fred some Flovent first, and then I'm gonna give him a little bit of a yogurt soup, which is a recommendation from maybe two lives ago. Somebody left it in the comments, and I think it's a great idea because rather than trying to torture him to get him to rinse his uh, mouth out with water, I think it would be awesome if he could just try to drink something in and try to flush it out. And yogurt has a little bit of probiotics, and yes, I know, cats are lactose intolerant, but a little bit shouldn't hurt them. And so far, he's eaten yogurt three times and no diarrhea or adverse reacts as far as I know. So I'm going to prepare that for him. We're going to give him the flow vent, and then we're going to taste this. <laughs> I'll explain. One thing at a time. Hi Del, hi everybody. So, um... the Oscars were tonight either until I had a Google News alert and I was like, what? Who cares? Yeah, any movies even come out this year? Yeah. Last year? Yeah. Only Minari as far as I'm concerned and I didn't I didn't even see that. So I'm gonna I usually drink the whey but I'm gonna give him a little bit of whey because whey is good. Whey is probiotic. -y. And then I'm just gonna give him like a little half a tablespoon of yogurt. Is there much lactose in whey? Um, I don't actually know, guys. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a food scientist. So I'm just gonna give him a little soup. I think getting some liquid in his mouth is better than none, and however we can get that in, I'm willing to give it a try. I really don't want my cat to get thrush. So right now, I know this is not ideal for everyone who's breathing down my neck about how to take care of my cat. I understand there's always more ideal situations and more ideal solutions, and I just, I'm trying to do with what I have on hand, and I'm trying to work out a solution that would ensure that he's in the least amount of pain, so. No, no we love people backseat driving how to take care of our cat. Bring it on. I Tell love, us how to live our lives I mean, everywhere. listen, just to be clear, okay, I'm not, I'm not bitchily saying I don't appreciate all of your advice. Obviously, this yogurt soup, shut up. <laughs> this yogurt soup idea came by way of a viewer, so I really appreciate everyone's ideas, but like every time somebody says that I'm basically killing my cat by feeding him yogurt, I'm just like, but am I? Am I? He's still alive. So that's what I say to that. Um, so yogurt soup. All right, Fred, you're gonna get some yogurt. Someone says curds have lactose, not whey. And if somebody on the internet Trap said it. Okay, hi Fred. Squish, I squish. You can scruff in. What is that? It means you pull this up. Okay. The skin part. Um, Are I you gonna breathe, Fred? I think squishing is better. Can you breathe, Fred? Don't yell. Can you breathe, Fred? Don't breathe at some point. Yeah, yes, there he one, goes. two, three, yes. Four. Good boy. Hold it, hold his neck, just pull the skin up. Okay. Yeah. Lightly. One, two, three, four, five. That's Yay, you did it! Mm-hmm. You want some yoga? It's either the yogurt or the, or the squeeze. Either the yogurt or the spray, Fred. <laughs> I tried to spray him and he was just like, nope. Um, Did he eat it? No. Okay. We'll try to feed him dinner right now. So let me do the taste test. And I also cooked some salmon for him. Um, he ate the yogurt yesterday. So thank you to whoever suggested that. Today, I guess he's not feeling it. Whatever. Can't predict the cat.
Cat's gonna have ice cream too, as long as it's not chocolate. Heard. So, let's see how much food we have left. Okay guys, so the story behind this expired cat food is, I was taking a walk and I went to the grocery store and on my way to the grocery store, I saw uh, there was this box of leftover food at the Salvation Army and I was like, ooh, this, I sent a photo to Aaron and I was like, what do you think? Should I take a couple cans? And he looked it up and he was like, it's actually really expensive. It's like 24 pack for $48, so $2 a can. And I was like, okay, go grab it. So he went and grabbed it and then we came back and he was like, oh, it expired last July. But... It didn't expire. It's well, like Best it's Best Buy. Um... I know, we're going to phase it a little bit. Like half of this and half of this current But food. it's the same food. It's so turkey pate. So let me just read you the ingredients we're going because from turkey pate to turkey this pate. literally sounds way better than what I eat. Turkey, chicken liver, chicken broth, chicken, ground flaxseed, potassium chloride, apple powder, cranberry powder, pumpkin powder, chicory root extract, taurine, cassie gum, xanthan gum, tricalcium phosphate, salt, Choline chloride, iron, proteinate, I'm guessing these are all vitamins, blueberry powder, papaya powder, pomegranate powder, magnesium stearate, vitamin E, peppermint leaf powder, cinnamon, fennel powder, thiamine, copper, manganese, sodium, niacin, calcium, hydrochloride, robinflavin, vitamin A, biotin, potassium, vitamin D, vitamin B12, folic acid. Like... So I'm gonna eat it, guys. I'm gonna smell it, I'm gonna eat it, and I'm gonna make sure that we can feed it. So should we do two, two ounce and one ounce? Wade, what is the way to see if that can is safe? Can I get a human spoon for me? Just use fries. Ew. To open the tap? Oh, to eat it with, right. I thought you were saying open the tap. Uh, human spoon. June wants a human spoon. It smells delicious, guys. Heart spoon. It smells so good. Excuse me. Let me smell because I've been smelling Dave's for a long time. That yeah, actually smells better than it Dave's. It smells fruitier than smells Dave's. Really, well, um, it has tons of fruit powder in it. It is pate. It's chicken pate. It's That's turkey the formula. Pate. It's okay, guys. It smells good. It looks fine. I'm going to taste it just to make sure I'm not killing my cat, okay? And I'm going to get a little bit of the gravy this and a the, little bit of the meat. This is the content you guys come to June stream for. This don't is worry. Crazy content. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Were there lots of bubbles? No. There's, yeah, it smells fine. It looks fine. You guys are about to see June drop dead. Just fall down dead. Why do you have to do the teeth scrape thing? I'm sorry. I hate. I hate it's a smell. little bit. It's a little bit like earthy bitter because I'm guessing there's bone in here, and it tastes like liver. There's liver in it though. So right? yeah, there's liver in it. So guys, it tastes delicious. Here we go. Feed it to him. Yeah, my mother's my grandma said if an unopened cat had has a bulge on top and throw it out. Right. These are a all bulge. Fine. They look normal. Uh, should we do two ounces of this and one ounce of the new Let's one? just do, uh, 1.5 and 1.5. Half and half. Mm -hmm. Do you want some water? I'm fine. How about for him? Yes, true, I forgot that. Excuse me, Fred. Don't get trampled. No trampled. Like, obviously, I'm going to stay around on the live a little bit because I'm going to pick through the salmon. I'm going to eat a little bit of Fred's We're salmon. Gonna stay around on the live. Who else is it going to be? Me. Right, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if I drop dead in the middle of it, then you can uh, tell people not to eat cat food that's been expired for almost a year. I've taken my vitamins today. Thank you. I know you're hungry, buddy. Um... It's like, if if we're making food that's good enough for animals to eat, it shouldn't kill humans, you know? 
I'd rather eat that than friskies or something like that, honestly. The ingredients. Jane says it's great. fine to feed, just be aware it will have lost some nutrients and may not be a fully balanced meal. Gotcha. Where did the nutrients go? Are they not still in the Well, can? vitamins kind of lose efficacy is after that, a while. Yeah. Is that science? Too much wet food is tartar and dental disease. Okay, no. He's got three teeth. He, left. he does only have three teeth. There's not much there's not much dental to disease. Wade, I saw that you said if it's bulgy and there's a lot of air coming out of it I or bubble, that. it's not safe. Yes. I don't believe there was. You saw me open the can. Did you see any bubbles? I opened the can in front of you guys. I think their cat died, honestly, which is why they got rid of the food. Rachel Fred is about ten years old. Um, this is an album cover, yes. The album is called Onion. The artist is Chase Seglier. So I made the salmon a while ago. It's cool enough for me to pull off the bone now. I'm gonna reserve some of the meat and the skin for Fred, but honestly, this shit is good. Um. Can I pack it all in there? No, I can't. What's going on, boys and girls and non-binary pals? Oh my God, don't steal Kenji's catchphrase. Oh, is it? Yes. I wasn't doing it intentionally. I think I picked it up unconsciously. I think a lot of people say variations on that these days. Uh, well, Kenji's known for it, and I don't want us to be stealing Kenji's catchphrase. Okay. Let it be known, I unconsciously stole a thing. Yes, Fred, I know. I'm not going to try any, no. This is, this is June's crazy hour. You gotta, you gotta sub to my OnlyFans if you want to see me eating cat food. Uh, I think June and I have the same favorite fruit, which is apples. I grew up in apple country. Like, is it ready yet? He's so hungry. I'm mixing it and talking to my friends, my internet friends. Hi, internet friends. I grew up in apple country, and June just learned to love apples. How did Fred enter our lives? We adopted him from an adoption place. I, no, actually, I snuck into uh, somebody's house and stole their cat at night. That's what happened. Apple country is a place where they grow apples. Western New York is a famous apple growing region. We haven't been to Kenji's restaurant. I think it's in SF, right? I think so. Yeah. I was born, yeah, that's right, I was born in the apples. June merely adopted it. Wow, okay. Um, thanks, Yara, Yaira, Yaira Kareon. She likes my shirt. I like your name, Yaira. Okay, Fred, meal time. Here's the meal, it never fails. Just give it to him in batches? Yes. How are you feeling, June? Did you, uh, are you feeling any vomitus yet? No. Okay. It's just, it feels a little, my throat feels a little scratchy. I'm guessing because there's fucking bones in there, so now it's just like bone sediment in my esophagus. But I feel fine. 
Or are you popping off the top of your esophagus? No. Whatever the line is for play of the conflicts. Okay. You don't want any sand in meat? Is that correct? Not now. Well, do you want it later? I doubt it. Oh, I thought you were asking me now. No, I, you, yeah, you can use it all for French food. You never really want to eat um, leftovers anyway, I feel like, so. What? Right. You don't okay. like leftovers, and that's, you especially don't like leftover fish, so I don't see why you would. I think it. that's an overgeneralization. I don't think it is. Okay, well, I think it is. I don't know if there's any single time you've eaten leftover seafood. Oh, leftover seafood. I don't know. Maybe. Right. Maybe you're right, June. You know me better than I know myself. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, would you guys ever get a dog? We love dogs. Uh, would we get one? Not while we live in a studio apartment. Right. Anyways. We don't have enough space for a dog, really. Rent is due in a week, Dell. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't uh, remind me of that. What? Don't remind me of rent. Oh, uh, okay. Well, Dell reminded us of rent. Can you pop the chat? Pop it out? Make it bigger, or at mm -hmm. least expand it, please. What is the command plus? Is that it? Yes, yes. that's it. I vaguely know how to use a Mac. I wish June could make some recipes for people living with gastroparesis. I have no idea what that means. Oh, because OMG, your recipes are amazing and my mango puree is getting old. I've never heard of gastroparesis. Uh, KE Drive 3DO2? Do you, do you want to tell us what that ailment is? But also, guys, I'm not a health scientist and I'm right. not a doctor and I don't really cook anything for any particular diet. I just cook to feed. June doesn't, June isn't a scientist. She just eats expired cat food on stream. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the sort of person you're working with here. <laughs> like somebody else told, asked me for interview advice the other day, right as I farted into the mm -hmm. camera. Like guys, I'm not the person. Yeah. I'm not the person you think I am. Okay. This isn't a high IQ stream. This is a hang out and do crazy shit stream. Yeah. If you came here for like legit cooking content, not not the right place yet. Maybe one day. He's enjoying it so far. Good. He's not a very picky eater, you know. So. No, people say to slowly transition cat food, but uh, I think he would honestly. Eat He's any. never like thrown up after food or had diarrhea. Except that one part. time. He threw up his hairball okay. and kibbles. Wade asked where vitamins go. I can tell you. Tell us, Wade. Tell us where vitamins go. Wade is our food scientist. Ask him everything you want to know. Thank you, Lisa. Although people didn't. There he is. Now the comment is shown. Can you do the all chats and not the top? Oh. Well, I did. it is top chat, but a hidden message showed up. So I don't know how that works. Can you also help me turn on the heat for this stop? Ooh, do you want some salmon skin? Uh, no. I'm not feeling salmon. Mm -hmm. Wade has a cool name. Is Wade a cool name? I guess it's okay. Would you cut his food with salmon broth instead of water? Uh, didn't, don't we do that sometimes? Or you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. We do do that. Yeah, Wade, you teased us with, like, I can tell you where the vitamins go, but then you didn't. Do you, he has secret knowledge of where vitamins go. Into, a, into Narnia? Do they go to Narnia? Hi, June and Aaron. You are seriously the coolest people ever. I wish I could be y'all when I grow up. Damn. I'm, are we that old? Yeah, we are. We are <laughs> That's that crazy old. here when I grow up. <laughs> we are very old. It feels like just a couple of years ago, I was thinking, what do I want to do when I grow up? Even though I know June is like three years younger than me, lol. Oh, okay. Well, that sentence, that comment took a turn. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to interpret that. You, when you grow up three years in the past, yes. you want to be June. Yes. Okay. Good luck with that. Time travel is possible, guys. 
Vitamin A is absorbed by the small intestine and absorbed by the liver. The liver takes the excess vitamin A and makes retinol. This is why they say carrots are good for your eyes, said Wade. Okay, Wade, I thought you were going to tell us where vitamins go, like in a can, if, they, if it's been sitting around for a long time. I thought that's what you meant. I don't really... I guess it's kind of cool to know what happens when they're inside your body, but we were talking about whether it was still, you know, fully... Nutritionist. Well, we don't pay him him. to educate us. Right. I don't know. It's just, I thought. Beggars can't be choosers, Aaron. I guess so. I thought he was going to, he was offering to tell us, though. June, June, do you ever cook with plantains? Uh, very rarely. Plantanas, if that's the word, probably not. Yeah, Fred is right behind you. Be careful. He's just staring at you doing the salmon. So I'll give him a second round. Here you go, lad. Oh, good cat, aren't you? I played with him a little bit, guys, today. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that he actually played with me. Surprise, this cat plays. For like 10 minutes a day, and then he loses an interest. It is a double streaming day. How lucky. Oh, damn, you did stream earlier today. That's right. Damn, you guys are getting maximum June content over here. You're getting the full June. I don't think you want the full June. I don't think you can handle the full June. If you can't handle June at her worst, you don't deserve June at her best. I don't think anybody can handle me at my worst, honestly. I can't even handle myself. But it's a boring, boring stream, guys. I'm literally just stripping salmon meat off of the bones for Fred. That's it. That's all we're going to do. And I might cook some stuff, but Aaron says he's not even that hungry, so I might just eat all the salmon scraps. Well, CRP Films is shouting out everybody, man. Are you are you a spammer? Are you shouting out everybody because we want to go? You want people to go to your channel? What kind of films do you make, CRP Films? Is that kind of sounds like the word crap, CRP? Did Aaron? you consider that? Is that intentional? Aaron. What? Can you fetch another pint container for me? Yes. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you going to roast the bones? Uh huh. After I boil them for the stock, though. Not now. Uh, Debbie, you did miss the eating cat food part, but I think you can rewind YouTube streams. Not until it's done. Really? I think. Okay. Well, I don't know, guys. You tell me. Yeah, you tell us right now. You're. You guys are doing it. Just. Click rewind, see if you can do it, you know. See, does the seek bar work? I honestly don't know. Uh, I know you can't rewind on Twitch uh, until the VODs are posted, but yeah, people are saying you can rewind while it's going. Okay, cool. There you go, so rewind and you'll see it. It's very anticlimactic. Yeah, uh, the spoiler alert, June ate it and she's fine. <laughs> For now. For now. You must stay tuned for the next three days to see if I die. Twitch can rewind as well? Damn, Joy. I've, dude, I'm such a boomer. I have no idea. I watch Twitch content pretty regularly, and I did not know you could rewind. Will you rewind now that you know you can? I guess if I have a reason to, if I'm like, oh, damn, I missed some poggers moment. That's what What's they poggers? Say. Poggers is what they say on Twitch if something's awesome or cool. I see. And... Coming out of my 30s year old mouth, I'm sure sounds terrible. Great. <laughs> it sounds poggers. Everybody, everybody's poggers in here. Uh, how, did, how did you cook the salmon? I think she boiled it, right? Just boiled it. Boiled it! Boiled it! You don't, I don't think you want any Maillard reaction for cats or dogs. Uh, I'm just going to keep doing out of context SpongeBob quotes and not explaining them. Like what? Boiled it. That's a SpongeBob quote? Yeah, but he slept, he says, Foiled it. Foiled it? Yes. Twitch, you need to click the video category and you can see the current stream in it to rewind. Can you turn the heat I on? did eat the little tarts this morning. They're great. I'm, po oh, thank you, Fernan Fernanda, for calling me Poggers. I've always wanted to be Poggers. Really? I can, I can do a Spongebob impression, but not of his normal voice. I can do the, some water would be nice, that episode with Sandy. 
Does that hurt your throat when you do that? No. If I do it, if I did it for like 10 minutes. Some water would be nice. Wow. That's impressive, dude. I'm glad it's the second time you've been reminded of SpongeBob, Amy. You need, people need constant reminders of SpongeBob. Would you say SpongeBob is in your top 10 shows? Oh yeah, absolutely. Really? I, oh, it would probably be in my top three. It's incredible. Really? Yeah. My top three TV shows are early Simpsons, uh, Seinfeld, and SpongeBob. No. What? Where's Breaking Bad? It's fine. Where's Mammon? Amendment's okay. You watch those We're religiously, doing... dude. Yeah, but I don't know. that They didn't, like, shape me as a person the way Seinfeld, Simpsons, wow. and SpongeBob Wow, formative did. experiences. Yeah. I was speaking in overtones, says Del. I don't know what that means. I was just being a silly, silly Billy. I don't know if I was doing overtones. Yeah, What's newer... overtones? I don't know. Del, can you tell us what overtones are? And how I was doing it. Um, yeah, early Simpsons are great. Newer Simpsons sucks. Absolutely. The current Simpsons is uh, painful to watch. It's I just I stay very far away from it. Every everything I've seen of the Simpsons past like, well, season seven is when it started going downhill, and then like past season ten is just a wasteland. Del says it's two tones at once. Oh, okay. Cool. Aaron, oh. you're a real voicer now. Yeah, I, so I, if I'm going to be a singer, I can only do it in the SpongeBob uh, dehydrated voice. Uh, I did watch King of the Hill. That's another great one. It's, you know, not as close to my heart as the three I mentioned, but uh, it's very good. It's an amazing show. I love how so many people watched King of the Hill without realizing it was satire. What did they think it was? Just like a regular sitcom, but it was a How? satirical sitcom. Is that possible? I don't know. Um, yeah, I've seen The Office. I, I like The Office. I've seen all the episodes, but I'm not one of those people who like quotes it all the time. I think I really appreciate the humor in it, but I do think the fandom for The Office has sort of like become like the Harry Potter fandom, you know, kind of cringy. Futurama is great too. Good night, Del. Bye. June, what foods do you eat when your stomach hurts? Do certain spices help? Do certain foods help you help your mood? Uh, guys, I don't know who you think I am, but I'm a really shitty eater. I have a terrible relationship with food. When I have a stomach ache, I just keep eating more of what probably caused the stomach ache. I don't have solution, guys. I only have questions. That's my purse! I don't know you! Yeah, that was a good one. What? <laughs> That's Bobby from King of the Hill. Then he, ki then he, then he uh, kick, these, kicks his dad in the balls. These voices are honestly so disturbing for me to witness. <laughs> when you sing or hum, it hits the back of your throat, which is where the vagus nerve passes through, I believe. So the louder you sing, the more vibrations. Good. I've never heard of the mole agent. What is Aaron, that? Aaron, we're blocking Fred. Ooh, we're blocking Can Fred. Can you also pan the camera up a little bit? Yes. Thank you. So people can eat, can there's, see me eat my there's salmon. There's June's face. June's beautiful face. June hates when I compliment her. I don't, yeah. It's a, it's a, I think it might be a Chinese thing, but I really hate compliments. I cannot understand. I cannot process. I do not process. Thank you, Pan Internet Doggo, which is probably my favorite. Uh, username I've seen so far on the stream tonight. Wow. I don't know, most people just have their names. At least this one is kind of, you know, it's out there, man. Uh, I didn't watch that 70s show. I kind of hated it. Whenever I saw it online, I didn't get it. And online? Not online, on TV. Because every my brain switched it to online because everything's online these days. Um, yeah, I was like, damn, this is all kind of... It, it feel. I mean, obviously the show's like... What's that horrible, cringy one that's super popular? The Big Bang Theory and Two and a Half Men. It was sort of... Sheldon? It, yeah, or Sheldon. It sort of felt like an early version of those. Not as bad, obviously, but, you know, I think there were some good moments. How many fans so, are we going to lose tonight? Because we just shat on yeah. a lot of shows. Yeah, you're getting all my TV hot takes. 
Um, we didn't. If you're talking about Avatar: The Last Airbender or Avatar: The James Cameron movie, because I've seen the Blue People movie, as everybody <laughs> has, has. I don't think June and I or, or I have seen The Last Airbender. I have not. Though we've heard good things. Have you? Yeah, it's, people like it. Yeah, that's my main problem with Seinfeld. Somebody said laugh tracks are weird. Is that I wish that Seinfeld did not have a laugh track. But that was the thing at the time, and probably for NBC to agree to air the show, starting, you know, what was that in the, must have been the early 90s, or like, you know, maybe late 80s, I don't know. They probably made them do a laugh track. Um, but, you know, the fact that Curb Your Enthusiasm is basically just, you know, a continuation of the Seinfeld theme, and that doesn't have a laugh track, tells me that, you know, I think if they had, if they had their way with it, they wouldn't have had a laugh track. And I wish there was a way to, like, you know, watch it on... I wish there was a laugh track free version that I could rewatch. I'm going to salt my little bowl of salmon so I can eat it with a little bit of salt, but I'm going to keep Fred's salt free. Yum. Uh, we live in New York, uh, K Drive, so you can use your Google, intrepid Google skills to figure out what time it is here. 9.56, guys. There you go. June handed you the fish instead of teaching you how to fish. Sometimes you just don't want to fish. I get it, guys. Uh, June and I don't listen to Joe Rogan. We see, I see, uh, at least I see clips from time to time, you know, when Marie has some personal I stopped watching there. Joe after he got off of Fear Factor. Yeah. Our only experience with Joe Rogan is Fear Factor. I love that show. We're Who not, else? We're not UFC people and we don't listen to the podcast. Who else loved that show? What did he do before Fear Factor? I don't was know, his... man. <laughs> like, that was the first time Joe Rogan existed, as far as I'm concerned. Great show. It was, like, my favorite show. Um, also, The Weakest Link. My second favorite show is The Weakest Link. I'm talking reality shows and game shows, for the most part. I don't really like TV shows. I get more hours of sleep than Aaron, or than June, rather, uh... A lot more because. Oh God, what would you do if you turned into me overnight? I wouldn't enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Either. I don't. I don't think you enjoy a lot of your life. No, uh, that's true. So yeah, June. June gets maybe four hours of sleep a night. Hope my mom's not watching that bit. Yes, Fear Factor was the show where people got into tubs with creepy crawly things. Among other things, there was a lot of gross out stuff too. They had like to like eat food. pet. They had to eat like penises and ball sacks and all of that. <laughs> there was a Fear Factor where they ate durian, said Avocado Alice. No. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Damn. That's ex that's extreme. Eat durian. You have a choice between. Letting ten tarantulas crawl into your asshole, <laughs> or eat this piece of durian. Oh, t -t tarantulas, please. Aaron, your voice game tonight is kind of scary. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to make a living as a voice actor? Hmm. I can do voices. I'm not consistent enough with voices, though. Like, I can do voices well sometimes, but then, like, randomly, if I try to conjure them, it's harder, so... You, to be a professional, you probably need to be consistent. Joe Rogan was on news radio. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is. Yeah, either. so I guess, I guess, Fear Factor is where we learned him. Are you having fun, Aaron? Yeah, just the stream of comments rolling by, you know, is sort of mind-numbing. Does it make meditative. you anxious? No, if it made me anxious, I would I would leave. Okay. It makes means it's made me see. Yeah, well, I can't get words out. It makes me the opposite of anxious because you know it's just like. I agree, oh. Aaron. Maybe now is the time for you to take a career change and do some voice acting. I've always joked that you have good voice for voice acting. Thank you, June. Uh, did you guys see Miranda July's Kajillionaire? I don't know what any of those words mean. I'm sorry. Who's Miranda July? Is that Miranda Sings, or is that a different Miranda? I'm sorry, I also don't know. Thoughts on marijuana being legalized in New York? Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't do any drugs except alcohol, but I'm for full legalization of all drugs, so let's, let's get it. I 
I love Frank Sinatra's voice. I don't know if I've ever tried doing it. Also, you guys don't want to hear me sing. One thing you'll never get me to do on stream is sing. We've never... Actually, I have been to the Philippines. I forgot. June hasn't. I have for like... I went to Boracay. Boracay? Is that how you say it? I was corrected on it a number of times uh, while I was there. And I spent a few days in Manila. And that is a crazy city. What kind of crazy? Uh, just like so, just gigantic markets. I remember in Manila there was this one market under train tracks that went on forever and ever and ever. And it was just a sea of people. Like just... It was gigantic. It was wild. Um, and then, like, the malls and, pay, like, so many stores had, like, dudes with assault rifles and shit, like, out front. Like, security was crazy in Manila. Manila's like Shanghai, the way people drive. Oh, Miranda July. I feel like I've seen a couple of her films. Can you guys name some? Oh, so what should we talk about tonight, guys? Is there any hot topics you want me to broach now that I'm giving yeah. you my full undivided attention and can spew so many opinions to get canceled on? Let's broach. Let's broach everything. Please. How about brooches? Should we talk about brooches? Brooches? Yes, They're do you own overrated. any brooches? No. Okay. That was fast. All right, topic over. New topic. BLM and a Biden admin? Yeah, I don't... What? I'm not sure. You're gonna have to. Means. You're gonna have to hit us with a more specific question. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Up to date with Biden administration shit, honestly. Yes. Also, that's not really a question. Uh, ethical consumption uh, doesn't exist. I Correct. guess. As they say, there is no ethical consumption under capitalism. There's less bad consumption, but it's all bad. All consumption is somewhat sinful, but you just gotta choose your sins, like you gotta choose your poisons. If you wanna stay alive, you are committing some sort of violence against other yeah. factors. Black, I don't know, you said Black Lives Matter, I don't know what you think we're gonna tell you. Do you expect us to say that Black Lives don't matter or something? Like, what, what do you think our takes would be, knowing everything else about us? Tiffany, I saw something today that was like, do something you fear every day and you won't be scared of anything in life is false. You will always be scared of something. You, do you guys think that's true? I don't think so. If you're always just pushing yourself to do something that you fear, that means that you are basically reinstating the fear because you first have to fear something in order to do something that you fear. You cannot have no fears and still do something that you fear. Does that make sense? No. Anyways, uh, do you pe see people celebrating legalization in the city? Mm, no, I haven't that's, been out. Uh, yeah, are there like, no, there's no people dancing through the streets celebrating legalized weed, if that's what you're asking. But I did see this cool uh, tweet of a guy who was um, giving people free weed for being um, vaxxed. That was cool. Uh, you gotta do your password. How come it uh, went to sleep? I feel like it doesn't do that most of the time. Can you look at the phone for comments for now? I guess so. Or we can just enjoy the sound of June washing well, dishes. Well, I don't wanna miss uh, questions if people are. Oh, uh, we miss it. June, you get big enough, the comments are just gonna fly by mm -hmm. speed of light. Can't read everything. Is hot dog sin? Didn't we have that conversation? We, I remember you saying that on the stream. I think if you find the core of your fear, you can get over it. Maybe. I don't think I can find the core of my fear, though. Thank you, Debbie. It's CDG, as you might know. What's CDG? Comme des Garçons. Oh, wow. Fancy. Fancy. It's not that expensive of a brand. Okay, but it's still more expensive than my budget eats. Obviously. It's French, which makes it sound fancier than it is. Oh my. Thoughts on people thinking vaccines giving you autism? I I posted on my on my Insta a while ago. Like I love, even though obviously, let me preface this just so people don't get any ideas. Obviously, vaccines don't give you autism. Anti-vaccination stuff is complete bullshit insanity. There is, it's as dumb as flat earthers and you know all that stuff. But I did post on my Insta that I love reading anti-vaxxer takes 
because of how entertaining they are and how hilarious they are. Just, uh, you know, seeing the, like, mental gymnastics people uh, come up with uh, to, to, to try to, uh, you know, explain how this shit works is really entertaining for me. Honestly, conspiracy... Th- I think a lot of people feel this, is that conspiracy theories in general are very interesting, even if you don't believe in a lot of them. Uh, it's really interesting to learn about them. You know, that's why, even though there's probably only, like, maybe 10 or 15 genuine flat earthers in the whole world, the idea of flat earthism gets so much attention because it's so... Do you want some cheddar? Interest- because it's so funny to people and interesting. Do you want some cheddar? Uh, sure, I'll, I'll take a couple pieces. Yeah, anti-vaxxerism, or whatever you call it, is sadly way more common, obviously, as we all are finding out these days. That I think my mom isn't back yet, and it's not because she can't access it, it's because she doesn't even, she's not sure if she wants it. And honestly, I've kind of reached the end of my patience trying to debate my mom on a lot of stuff, so I just don't anymore. But maybe when I have the energy back up. I, oh, thank you. I agree it is very damaging, Lisa, but I'm someone who is sort of, you know, I kind of gave up on hoping the world would get better, so I'm just sort of like, and the watch it all burn phase. So I'm kind of over the, uh, I, I, I like don't mind too much the extreme damage it's causing to society because it's clear that humans are on a path of self-destruction at this point, you know, climate change, nuclear weapons, proliferation, all that stuff. I think it, it was, uh, it was, um, God. What happened, June? Just everything is a mess. Uh, You're doing fine. Just angry at myself. Mm-hmm. I know, Fred. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make food for you, buddy. All right. Measles and polio have started coming back. It's very sad. Wait, really? Yeah. How? In small pockets in communities like, you know, Northern California or like, you know, the Upper East Side, like anti-vax communities, there are like out- pretty common outbreaks of measles now. Wow. Mm-hmm. Eliza, at first, I was like, it did sort of sit a little bit wrong with me that a lot of places like universities are making COVID vaccination mandatory to return. But then I realized that, like, a lot of universities and schools in general already have vaccination requirements. Like, I remember I had to submit, uh, like, you know, my help my vaccination records uh when I went to college for like, you know, MMR and TV TV. and stuff like that. So it's, that's already something we're doing. So honestly, you might as well just add COVID to the list too. Like if you want to debate the merits of that, don't debate the merits of it based on COVID specifically, debate the merits based on how we're, you know, have been doing it as a society for a long time in general. And I'm honest, I lean much more in the direction of being okay with the vaccine requirements. Thank you. Smooth pace for Fred. It's real smooth, guys. Yeah, to paraphrase uh, Robert McNamara in The Fog of War, he said something like, uh, the combination of nuclear weapons and human human fallibility over an indefinite time scale assures uh, our self-destruction. So it's going to come from one thing or another. Cool. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, yeah, a lot of people are going to die from anti-vaxxer bullshit, but if like everybody's going to die from something else, you know, whether it's, uh, uh, turning the planet into Venus or nuclear weapons or 
you know, something like that, then, you know, you can, you can enjoy the hilarity of anti-vaxxer thought a little bit more because that's not going to be what wipes us out entirely. What is in a wipe? Well, one of those two things I said. Or something else, who knows? Maybe the aliens will show up. Why do you assume I don't have a job, Jess? Hot topic! Hot topic! Really? There's been no... There's been no hot topics recommended for me to rant on, guys? I'm so sad. I thought the HPV vaccine was to prevent cancer. Yes, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, somebody said... I think we have an anti-vaxxer in chat, but I don't know. I could be wrong. What did he say? The, the HPV vaccine is known to cause ovarian cancer. There is a side effect, but there's been no... Re there's. I got my first shot when I went off to college. I never completed my HPV vaccine, and I still regret it. Um, there's just... It's not been long enough to, like, determine that. <laughs> Women having to have children in order to be validated in some way. What are your thoughts, June? Ah, uh, fuck it. Yeah, you're throwing in a softball at you. You just, you just have to say, fuck it, I don't feel like it, and we have reached that time in society where women can say, fuck it, and mind your own beeswax, and if you want, and you, if you have the energy to, you can give them an explanation, but it's kind of like people asking vegans, why did you turn vegan? Like you don't have you don't have to give them the time of day if you don't want to. You don't have to justify not having children because why is the standard having children? If anything, you should have to justify having children. Why America allows its citizens to have such shitty health care? Uh, because a relatively small uh, oligopoly of extremely rich healthcare companies ensure that the uh, system stays that way. Uh, that's why. Oligopoly? Oligopoly is a- That's a word? Yeah, it's a it's like a monopoly, but instead of one company running it, or one, you know, individual, or one organization, it's a group of them. Cool. Just know that we're not getting fucked by one person, but by a whole- But there's only, there's only like two left, right? There's United and- uh, Ed, Edna, right? I think Empire, I think, is those all have like such a huge network, like they just acquired so many. Like, I think United acquired shit like Blue Cross, which had itself as a huge network. It's basically just like, why do Americans allow the oligopoly to have so much power? I mean, that's the same question as to the healthcare thing. It's like, because you know, there is two uh, uh, political parties in the US and they're both uh, factions of the one corporate party. It's just, you know, the Republican Party tends to be more focused on international issues and militarism and, you know, fossil fuels. While the Democratic Party is more in the pocket of, like, domestic corporate concerns such as uh, tech companies and uh, healthcare companies, pharmaceutical companies, that sort of things. It's just basically like different factions of uh, corporate rule, like industrial versus financial is, is sort of how it is. It's like how the Civil War played out. It's the same threads in American politics that go back hundreds of years now. You know, how it was basically like the current Democrats, even though the parties were flipped at the time, the industrialized, financialized North um, versus the, you know, agrarian more natural resource-based economy of the South, which you could sub in for the Republican Party today. June is making salmon paste. Fred paste. 
I'm gonna check on him to make sure he's still alive. His fur looked really good when I fed him some salmon. I would give him like two tablespoons of salmon a day. Um, and his fur looked really nice. So I wanna go back to it and I think it was doing something really nice for him. Um, I think the oils in it really helps. Noise. I'm not saying it's a good thing that the party's flipped Eliza. Obviously, I, the Democratic Party is certainly less evil than the Republican Party. But I, my point was that they're both factions of different aspects of, uh, you know, the, the capitalist hierarchy that's existing at the time. Is that the Republicans and their base now and in the past have tended to be focused on exploitation of natural resources such as fossil fuel extraction and therefore are more reliant on international expansionism, you know, controlling resources in other countries as well and making sure they're client states, while Democrats have been more focused on, uh, you know, expanding the financialization of the domestic economy. Right. I mean, if somebody if somebody is seriously making the claim these days as as the like very, very dumbest people in the Republican Party sometimes do of like, oh, black people should join the Republican Party because the Democrats, you know, were the racist party or more racist like 100 years ago or something. And, you know, obviously that is. But that's that's the most simple minded take you can possibly have on politics. So I wasn't really addressing it at that level. What do you think our federal and state taxes should be funded more towards? I don't know, fucking literally anything except uh, War. extreme the extreme militarization and, and police state that we have going on right now. How about fucking health care for people? How about homes for people? How about job training? How about you know a green, how about a re uh, uh, orientation towards a green economy? How about health a, and not how, misery. Yeah, how about a universal jobs program? An edu exactly education, a universal jobs program focused on like cleaning up the country, repairing the infrastructure, and you know building green energy. How about a high speed rail? Maybe can can Ooh, we have a high can we have a high speed man. rail like you know China does? How come they can do it but we can't? And we're so much richer than them, you know? Like what, there you, there's there's a list of of Dozens and dozens of things you could pick from that would all be better than what is currently being spent on. Thoughts on furries? Uh, I, don't, I don't get the hate for furries, honestly. Whatever. I know, are I, they hurting yeah. people? No, they're not. Yeah. I think a lot of them are like Nazis or something. What? Yeah, there's like a big community of furries that are also literally Nazis. What? Uh, yeah, there's like extreme right wing aspect in the furry community. It's not all of them. I don't want to overgeneralize. But obviously, if, if the, ones, never heard this the ones who are not Nazis, if they want to just get together and have their yiffing parties, you know, go for well, it. Well, aren't there Nazis in literally any... Yeah, but it's sort of like a weird aspect of the furry community. It's sort of a, a thing. Nazi furries is a thing? Yeah, it's like, a, like I said, a big portion of them are, are right-wingers. Do we reason. have any Nazi furries in the crowd? Yeah, confirm? Nazi furries. Raise your hands if you're in, if you're in chat right now. Healthcare is free in Costa Rica because they don't have military anymore, right? I have heard that that Costa Rica Seriously? doesn't. Yeah, Costa Rica doesn't have a military. It's oh one of the God. very few countries that That's doesn't. Amazing. Costa Rica and Iceland, I think. Japan technically doesn't, but we all know they do. That Japanese self-defense force is an army for all intents and purposes. War crime time. <laughs> Yuka, Yuka, maybe Yuka doesn't know what a furry is. I think. Um, <laughs> Keep it that way, Yuka. It's, you're better off not knowing. Uh, Dawn says, pretty sure my girlfriend works with a Nazi furry. <laughs> cool. Oh, Does he show up to work uh, in his uh, fursuit? Yeah, that's a big pork rind jar. It is a... Uh... 
I've already eaten it's more just, than half of this. It's just a pound, though. I've only gotten it since Friday. Uh, it's just a pound of pure fat. Fewer furries, that's funny. She's a right winger, but dresses up as a fox. Right. I, I'd always, it's always funny to me that the, the Nazi furries, because it's like, what do you think, what do you guys think Hitler would have thought about you guys? You know? Would, that you're deviant? Yeah. Would you, would you, I feel like the, if you feel like if you were a furry in Germany in the thirties, but maybe they're you, like you neo wouldn't, Nazis. <laughs> you wouldn't have had a good go of it, you know? Are they like more accepting neo Nazis though, who like are sex positive with whatever kink you got no, going I, on? I don't know, man. I'm, that's I. You reached the extent of my knowledge on it. That's too bad. Yeah. Uh, do pork rinds actually taste like pork? Um, a little. Does that have a hint of porkiness? They don't taste like much. It's honestly. mostly like fatty. Yeah, it's more fatty, about the crunchy, texture. Fatty, crunchy, airy, puffy. She wears her tail and ears to work. What job wow. does What job does she have that lets her do that? <laughs> I'm not opposed to it, like, you know, what, if, if, if being, if uh, working in an Amazon warehouse is slightly less, made slightly less miserable by, you know, you wearing your fursuit, even though it's probably going to be extremely hot, then go for it. I'm just, oh, it's a startup. Okay. Um, do you guys want to see me make some pita bread potentially? I would like you to make some pita bread because then I can eat it. Okay. She works in medical records. What are you going to eat with it? Everybody's saying yes, but I don't really know what else you were expecting them to say. My dog loves pork rinds, but he's a fatty. He eats a lot of stuff he definitely shouldn't, but he's still a happy Star-Lord. That's his name, Star-Lord? That's a cool name for a dog. I love interesting pet names, even though ours is just named Fred. I like Fred. Yes, Fred is a Back good Back off. Name. Yeah. We love Fred. We do love Fred. The thing is, we're not, we agreed we're not going to change Fred's first name, but we still haven't decided on a middle name. I mean, we just found out that it's not actually Lacoro. It's, it's apparently Lacari. Lacari, yeah. It's the last name of the lady who runs Puppy Kitty NYC. Um, but I really like Lacoro. So I think his name is still going to be Fred Semifredo Lacoro. Semifredo, <laughs> that's funny. If you're on Zoom, you can wear the ears out of frame. Yep, <laughs> that's... That's so weird. Furry, furry tips here in chat tonight. My dog's name is Johnny Cash. He's a tiny Johnny seven pound Cash. Maltese. I feel weird naming dogs after full on, like, real people who once existed or who still do. But I like, I like animals with human names. No, we, we just got Fred Coffee uh, month, uh, last month, right? I think sometime in March, yeah. Sometime in March. Uh, he, he is 10 years old from a shelter, and we did not name him that. He came pre-named. Right, Fred is an acronym for other things. What is Fred an acronym for, Jim? Uh, funny, regular, energetic guy. No, G is it. Oh my god. <laughs> Fear reactivated eating disorder. Fear reactivated eating disorder. That's like my life. <laughs> I gotta try again because I said guy, but that's G instead of D. Funny, uh, really exciting dude is what Fred stands for. I don't know about that one. Okay. Yeah, dude instead of guy. Thank I got there. I got there before chat said it, let it be known. Fucker runs everywhere, damn. Yes! Uh, <laughs> That's a good one. I was chat, not me. Uh, June, you'll need to log in. But uh, I can take over the dishes. I'm just rinsing. Okay. Can you just finish rinsing for me? Sure. And then I think I'll pop off. Okay. Thank you for being here. Yes. What did it? What was it? Fucker runs everywhere or something? Damn. Yeah, that's a good one. That wins. I 
can take over the dish is my favorite thing Aaron has ever said. Uh, so that's fine. Okay. Well, that's weird, Vicki, because I'm not doing your dishes, so I don't know why it's your favorite. June, what's your favorite thing I've ever said? June will tell you shortly. She'll give you an answer, I promise. I don't know. What is the stupidest thing you've ever said? <laughs> Would that be your favorite? Um, I think my favorite thing that Aaron has ever said to me in particular has got to be the first thing I remember him saying to me. And I can only paraphrase it now because it's been like 10 years, but... It's been millennia. He, when he first saw me and the first time he ever spoke to me, he basically said... And just to give you context, we were in rural China for our teaching fellowship. We were told to dress conservatively, nothing above the shoulders, nothing above the knee. So I was wearing this Peter Pan collar, blue button down shirt, long sleeve with a very long black skirt that went like almost to my ankles. And I had like these suede Mary Janes on and I still had normal long hair. And he's, I think he said something like, you look like you walk straight out of a Chinese communist propaganda poster. And I was like, that's the first time I've ever been told that. <laughs> she also had her little communist cup. I loved her communist tin cup. Where did that cup go? I don't know. It was like a, a really simple tin cup that June brought with her everywhere and like ate her meals out of and drank water out of. Disgusting. And it reminded me of something they would have been using on the long march. The long march. Peace. Oh, I gotta do Fred's plate. I put some salmon on there for him. Oh. Can you get him to come eat it? Fred. Salmon. <laughs> He's sleeping. He looked up angrily at me when I walked Just over. leave it. I'll wash it later. Okay. Um. Thoughts on Mormons? I don't. I think I knew one person in college who was a Mormon. She was very nice. Yeah, every Mormon I've ever met is very nice. But I don't know. I feel like they... I don't know. It may be wrong of me to assume so, but I feel like a lot of people try to get out of Mormon communities. At like, what? They do. Yeah, the same way that like a lot of Hasidic Jews try to leave the community, and it's just kind of like ensnaring for some people. So... If they're happy, they're happy. I don't have anything against them, I think. Just pinched off a little bit of dough. I'm going to shape it loosely into a little bowl. And I'm gonna let it rest and come to room temperature. How many pitas do you want? Uh, I'll, I mean, we can, Two? We, we can freeze whatever you make. So make as many as you want. Um, is Unorthodox the show or the movie? We watched the movie on Netflix about Hasidic Jews trying to leave the community. That was like rough, rough watching. I haven't watched the series, no. We don't have a toaster, unfortunately. Realize that these lives are basically the best version of the party I could ever hope.
hope for because you don't even have to do an Irish goodbye because all goodbyes are Irish goodbyes and that's like the best kind of party where you don't have to have this pressure of like I want to leave but I shouldn't leave because people will judge me if I leave now. You just you just leave. <sighs> best dumpling houses in New York City. I feel like Flushing has the best ones. Do you have opinions on best dumpling? It has been really long, guys. Nothing that we say will be accurate anymore to what's actually available out there. Yeah, introvert heaven is right. Ooh, yes for scavenging appliances. I'm so happy for you. have a rice cooker does that mean that I don't have access to the best appliance ever yes there are salmon bones in the broth indeed Nanxiang Xiao Long Bao is pretty good yep I've never had their dumplings I've only had their soup dumplings which I don't consider the same thing when you say dumplings I think like boiled or pot sticker versions not steamed not dim sum but I love Nanxiang Xiao Long Bao, so rich. The broth is so fatty. I think they were closed for a while, but I think they're open again now. Now, Ko, I burned my um, chili oil last time, too. I think my oil just got too smoky. You really got to take it off the minute you see it's smoking. It's, it's tough. It's harder than I remember it being. Pork and chive are the best, if you say so. I'm going to make some baby pitas. Preferably without hair. Gross. I didn't flour my boards at all, guys. When your dough is well developed, you shouldn't really need flour. Um, they should be, for the most part, pretty nonstick already. Do you see how silky this is? Should we do any fat in the pan for pita? I like my cast iron more because the carbon steel one, the seasoning on it is a little bit botched. So it's very sticky when I cook. Uh, Linda, I didn't fart, did you? No fat for pita. Maybe just a little bit though, I feel like it might stick. 
Just for the first round, just a little bit. with just flour, water, and yeast. I Traditionally, are there other things that go into a pita dough? I feel like it's just that simple. Do we think Oscars are playing up the uh, minority wins to stay relevant? It's a hot take. I'm not saying the actresses don't deserve it. I'm just saying I watched zero of these movies and I honestly don't know which actor I like the best because I didn't watch any of them. But do we think the Oscars is giving out more awards to so-called minority players in the industry as a latch dis effort? Latch ditch eff last, oh last ditch effort to remain relevant. Because I honestly don't know how the industry can just do a whole 180 from one year to the next. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I love that we are, um, you know, we've gone from underpaid servants and slaves to uh, properly pay some of us, not all of us. All right, pretty, pretty uneven pita. Wow. Whoops, there goes my tripod. Lower the heat, uh huh? Whoopsies. All right, that one's definitely getting burnt because I forgot to lower the heat. We gotta flip right now. I would love to cook Persian food. I just literally have no idea what Persian food is. I have so little knowledge of that cuisine. Listen guys, I would love to cook all the cuisines in the world, but I only know so much. These are going to be very moist pitas, Aaron. Yes, crispy rice. Yoshi is right. Awards only serve to uphold the current standards of beauty and achievement, which are all in the end drivers of capitalism. So if you don't want to support capitalism, there is no point to awards. But if you do want to support capitalism, awards are a very good way to signify things of worth or things that have been deemed to be valuable. Which is another reason why, you know, Delish of course wants to win that Webby, which we are currently being beat by BuzzFeed's Tasty by a million bajillion, but um, Delish wants to win that award and I really can't care less. It's nice that we're getting recognized because the team worked really hard, but Awards can go to the hell. Nareen, I know I can Google or search to make the foods I don't know how to make, but will I?
What was censored, guys? What was censored? Is YouTube censoring shit again? Hundred and forty percent hydration? That's crazy. Dave's in the fridge. Dave is chilling. Dave will be us. Will be with us. But he's just hibernating. water to 240 flour is definitely not 140% hydration. I'm too lazy to make chicharron con salsa. I'm just going to eat it, guys. Just let me be lazy, please. Yes. Hi, Michelle Diane. Does Aaron snore? Very rarely, but apparently I snore too. I just recently learned. this one spot, which I like to see. But yeah, because my uh, starter wasn't very active to begin with, this flatbread will probably not be all that great. It is an extra flat flatbread. Probably would go way faster if we baked this in the oven, but I don't want to turn on the oven, and it's just nice standing here doing something. Have I seen nine? I don't think so. Did I see nine? human centipede, thank God. I do not ever want to see human centipede, please. chili oil. First one is ready for you. Okay. Guys, I've been craving dairy so bad. I don't know why I've been craving dairy. I just have been. I can't explain it. meat. 
raw non-cow milk or raw cow milk? Oh, cool. Yes. It's a triangle pita. Yes. Do you want me to take it so you don't burn yourself? Oh, it is still pretty hot. Well, yes, it's on the fire. So grab your oh. chili oil. Chili oil. This part in the middle is really thin. You can see the light shine through it. I didn't, so I don't think they did, you. You didn't hear that? No. It's a pretty obvious fart, my dude. One would think you would know we're, after. We're still in the uh, announcing every time we fart portion of Just the Just the really <laughs> exciting farts. Okay. It's not very spicy. It's, you just used like, you know, the standard red chili flakes that come in like McCormick spice things. So it's not packing a lot of punch. I'm not eating it yet because it's still pretty hot, but I'll try. <clears throat> There's some stuff that uh, June made for a delicious recipe. What? The chili oil, right? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I can't remember anymore. Good pita, June. Do you like it? For sure. Describe the flavor, my man. Mm. It's hard to describe the flavor under all that chili oil. Oh. But it's a good vehicle for it. Do you like the texture? Should I eat plain pita? Do people eat plain pita? You can try it on the next one. I'll try one with you. You're the describer in chief. Do we have yogurt li liquors? I'm going to start a lid liquors club. Yeah, this is probably more like non than like pita. There's no whole rising from it. Probably a little too wet of a dough. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Big time. We're gonna flip. Thank you. Yeah. Will you come back for more? The thing about the yogurt that's always stuck on the lid is it's the most condensed part. It's like the thickest part of the yogurt because it's away from the whey. So it's the creamiest part. I so enjoy eating 20 little bowls than one huge bowl. I don't think it's very hard to eat your body weight and non over the course of an entire year. Think about it, if I eat like six pounds of food a day, which I probably do, if not more. Wouldn't even take me a year. Take, take me like two months. <laughs> okay. 
so I guess this is a sourdough non. Because pitas have pockets and this one does not. But what are names, guys? What are names? Aren't they just all bread at the end of the day? Did you like the thicker, doughier parts, or did you like the thinner, crispier parts? Aaron? Um, well, we're fine. So you started to pop on answer, but it's okay. nice to have the different textures. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. some watermelon. Dawn, just be aware that whole wheat flour soaks up more moisture than all purpose. So don't add as much as you think you need to. Add like half and then gauge the dough. to the Carolinas. Yes. One time during college, we went there for a uh, Frisbee tournament. I was an idiot. I've never seen so much sun. I forgot to, I, I didn't even forget. I was just like, I don't need sunscreen. And then at the end of the day, I was just like in pain. And maybe I'll have skin cancer soon. I don't know. But uh, that was fucking painful. The backs of my knees were just like, could not touch water. Every single drop of water was like somebody scraping my skin off. It was horrible. I think my nose peeled. I think my, my lips peeled. Um, terrifying. Terrifying. Dawn, it's more like three quarters of whole wheat flour to 100% of AP, but I would say just start with half because I don't know what your dough looks like now. Like half your intended amount that you wanted to add AP to. Not half of the whole recipe amount. Is sun really the number one enemy of Asian women? Really? I thought it was people who don't know a thing about you and then come up and say, where are you from? The amount of times where somebody doesn't even know my name and asks me where I'm from, I'm just like, shit, dude, where do you think I'm from? I could be from wherever you want me to be, right? 
Because in your head, I'm already from somewhere. So I just say most of the time, where do you think I'm from? And then he'll go like, China. And I'll be like, hmm, okay, cool. I really should just like, uh, learn how to rap that Eminem line about I am whoever you say I am. Lentils are really easy. I would say they're easier than beans. They can just get really mushy, so you must be okay with that texture. So underrated. Aaron, Peter, ready in three minutes. Probably. Chocolate is probably still good. It probably will taste a little bit waxy. Does it look white? Does it look bloomed? It probably will just taste a little gritty, but it won't make you sick for the most part. Chocolate has so much sugar in it, and it's sugar. It'll, it'll, just, it'll be preserved. Hi, modern video. I'm okay. <laughs> Even if it's not open, it can be bloomed. Um, it's just if moisture got into it, if there's a lot of temperature changes, uh, basically what happens is the perfect tempering of the chocolate that it had when it came out of the manufacturing plant got fucked up and the crystals um, are no longer in alignment and the chocolate is chalky. Excuse me, I'm burping. Why didn't the doll go well? I feel like doll is pretty easy to make. Why didn't it go well? Okay, Aaron. Do you want a whole one or do you want me to take a bite? This one looks, as usual, the first one always comes out looking a little weird, but this one looks really nice and It's pretty thorough. dense. Looks consistent throughout. This is starting to look more like a pita, but I would still say it's functionally more do like a Do you think it one. would be more like a pita if I left it thicker, or do you think it would just be like a doughy fucking mess? Psh, I don't think well, it has well, much let's yeast find activity out. in it, you know? So. Right. Did you add? Just sourdough. Okay. Just dead sourdough starter. Dead starter. Nice some translucency there. That has good flavor. The starter still has nice flavor that's coming through, even if it's dead. Well, yeah. The starter will always have nice acidity. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to be back in a minute because I don't like eating it when it's that hot. Okay.
The middle of it was uncooked. What are we talking about? The doll? Are you stirring it? You have to stir it, girl. Stir it to it. All right, I'm gonna try this pita, or I don't know what it is, non roti. I don't know, guys. Um, there's a little bit of an air bubble here that kind of crisped up. It smells a little bit sourdoughy, but also nice and toasty from the pan char. Mmm, okay. It's like a little bit gummy on the inside, but the outside has a nice slightly crispy chew that's more dehydrated that makes it very pleasant when you chew them together. It's pretty salty, which kind of heightens the acidity of the sourdough a little bit. And it reminds me a lot of um, homemade flatbread pancakes that my grandma used to make with like five spice. Erin, I'm gonna put some five spice on this next one. Or six spice. I think it's going to go really well with the six spice, guys. Might as well just put some on the dough now. I don't know what the extra spice is anymore. I have, no, I have no clue what's in my six spice mix. Would you like a little bit of five spice powder sprinkled on yours? Yes, please. I'm gonna do some uh, green Sichuan chili oil. That's gonna go well with the six spice. Yes, that's why I'm doing it. Just a few drops of this, it's pretty pun potent. Oh yeah. I think the sour goes well with the six spice. Flavor town. No, I'm still in Guy Fieri's thing. I'm, I still have Stealing 10 G's. All over the place. I don't have any original catchphrases. What should my catchphrase be, everybody? Post Aaron's catchphrase suggestions in chat. This is delicious. I really love it with this combo of the. Should we freeze it? The mm -hmm. rest of them? Chat isn't working on the phone, so I can't see what people suggested my catchphrase to be. No, not, there's no, there's nothing coming up. Mm. Guess people are as unoriginal as me. More spicy, please. We'll workshop that, Krista. <laughs> oh man, I love this such one oil. But you don't love the pita? Oh, I don't know. I've been taste. I've honestly been using the, uh, yeah, not enough chili. That is basically my catchphrase. I say that enough. I, the pita was vehicles for chili oil and now this, so. I mean, that's what bread is, right? Okay. It's a vehicle for the other stuff. Sure, Aaron. Sure. I mean, it's good. It's a good non-pita bread thing. I don't know what you want me to say. I like it. It's bread. It's good. Okay. Yeah. Hot, spicy, nice, tasty. Uh, wait, was it hot, spicy, red pepper, nice, tasty, was it? Yeah. 
I'm a red pepper, nice tasty kind of guy. I save this fish broth for you? Sure. I'll make some ramen tomorrow. Ooh, puffy! Did you make it thicker? No. Well, I, maybe. I didn't dislike spicy food growing up. I am um, from Western New York, which is chicken wing uh, country. And so spicy food is certainly not a foreign concept to people there, like hot wings, buffalo wings. That's the whole thing. Although a lot of people do order the mild there, but you know, then there's restaurants that do like, you know, suicidal, extra spicy stuff. And I would usually get the pretty spicy chicken wings. So there was never a point I can remember why I disliked spicy. But certainly my love of it has increased over time. As a kid, I would always get very spicy wings. Yeah, I, I do love buffalo wings, absolutely. Especially from Duff's. Do you want one wrapped in cheese? A small one? Sure. Wrapped in cheese? In cheese or with cheese? You choose. I don't know. Go for whatever you, you think would be good. Hey, Fred's back. But he didn't die from the cat food either. You're both still alive. My two best friends. Imagine if you both died from that cat food. Sad. I'd be kind of... I'd be kind of... Really sad. I, I, I don't know about sad. Just sort of, you know, lonely sad. here, I guess. Um, what spice do you want in your cheese-filled one? Uh, black pepper. That's it. Okay, that's it. No, I uh, sorry. Uh, I meant that's it. Oh, uh, I uh garlic, black pepper. Mince or powder? Um, either one. Yeah, garlic and black pepper. Can you find the garlic for me, please? Let's just do minced. I see it. Okay, well, I'm fine with mince. Do you want mince or powder? You choose. Mince. Okay, so it might mince. be gritty, but... That's fine. I like it. Another one with a little garlic grit. My cat Simba is my bestie. And he's... Yeah, I would look a little sus if you both... If both of you died at once. I'm not, I'd have to, I'd have some... Well, why would you kill both of us? That I wouldn't kill you, it's just if you both died at the same time, then, you know, I'd look a little sus. Are you trying to look sus? I look sus all on my own, baby. Can you give me some spices, please? I look sus naturally. You can't have a mustache without looking a little sus these days. Like right the, there, right there. Oh, it's not the grinder. You're giving me some yeah, fake just, ass black pepper. Just use it. It'll be fine. Thank you. Oh my god, so much. Yes. Don't you have a mustache? Yes, that's what I was saying, is that I look sus all on my own thanks to the mustache. Some sumac would be great. That is a good idea. Maybe I'll do some kind of future, future bread. Well, that's gonna be a fun one. Let's see if it melts. Gallus, gallus domesticus for Aaron. Chicken? Does that mean chicken? Yeah. Chicken for Aaron. Okay. That's a comment I read. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you sound very confused. I am. <laughs> So if June killed Erin, we'd all say she was here with us. Okay, there you go. I know where I know where you guys stand. Guys, I can't believe our norm now is two hour lives. This is crazy. How are you guys not bored? 200, oh, 250 of you, not bored. You're down, you're down under 300, though. You've been up to over 300. I know, times. but, like, let's not compare with other numbers. Let's just take the numbers for what they are. There's over 200 people staring at us making some stupid sourdough dough concoction with cheese and minced garlic and black pepper stuck in the middle, and we don't even know if it's going to cook. Well, they're mentally ill. 
And you're stealing <laughs> my frozen bananas. Yes. Damn. No. Thank you. Are you guys here for Fred? Is that why you're here? Let's show them Fred, Aaron. Is this one for me also? You may eat it, yes. Thank you. I'll do some sumac, like our friend who's- I would love to try the five spice one. Okay. I would just try a bite. Does that five spice on it? Yes. Can I try a bite? Yes. Round sumac. Did, let, did Fred smell it yet? Mmm. Guys, definitely let, let it rest and rise. The texture is so much better when it's risen. The texture is so much more tender now. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see this, but there's some layer separation happening. Always let your doughs rest, guys. Always. Sumac action with Aaron. Sumac action. Okay. Do you guys like sumac? You should use sumac at home if you don't. It's like if lemon was a spice. I wouldn't say that. I would. Lemon is a spice. How? Oh, I <laughs> like them. I've discovered recently that Fred won't eat things until I mush it in my hands to a paste. Like. He's got three teeth. Mm hmm. I tried to feed him earlier with salmon and he wouldn't eat it because I gave him a chunk the size of my pinky nail. I had to like mush it up into a paste in my fingers. Sumac, sour cream or Greek yogurt and garlic powder. That's a great idea. I'm, I'm loving this though. Do you want to buy the sumac? Mm-mm. Okay. Thank you. I'm waiting for your cheese one. Fred is 10. Do you guys love the way his ears move? <laughs> Sorry guys. I think I just offended him deeply. He gave me a look like, are you fucking kidding me? Have you ever made halloumi gym? I made it for work at Delish, but I don't like halloumi. I like halloumi. It's always so rubbery. Fred does look depressed, doesn't it? Never made mooncake. Nope. Are you angry at me? What for? I offered you this. You don't want it. I just flipped it. Ooh boy, this is a weird one. Fred, do 
you want the last bits of salmon? Good job. Nice. About it what's bad isn't that I'm eating expired food what's bad is that we put expiration dates on foods that aren't expired we create this culture of fear and we make people throw out good shit because it's expired or it's past the best buy date or it's past the sell by date all these freaking words that we've set up for ourselves anyway the cheese is melting and it's gushing out and it's turning into a little cheese cracker soon so that's exciting Aaron's gonna love that one. And you can see the bread is slightly uh, rising and falling like it's trying to breathe. That's kind of creepy, huh? Wow, that is the creepiest thing I've seen all day. I, uh, I made something that is breathing. Go figure. Weird, okay, back to eating. Bananas with Freddo. Yeah, litigation, laws, labels, names for things that don't actually make sense. We've decided to give these foods a legal expiration date or a legal sell-by date. We're the humans who created laws. We made all these rules for ourselves and now we should acknowledge when these rules aren't actually the truth and when these rules actually don't work. And this applies for way so many more things beyond expiration and sell-by dates. I sometimes cook with sesame oil, but I don't fry on it because if it's already toasted sesame oil, it can start tasting burnt. You don't love me tonight very much. I just fed you salmon. I want all the love, Fred. Are 
Are you sleepy? Or do you hate me still for the flow vent? Maybe it's the flow vent, guys. I don't know. Yeah. Food insecurity is a forever feeling. Bye, Valerie. Ooh, that cheese is smelling good, guys. Oh my God, that is golden. So golden. And now we have cheese grease to fry the rest of our pitas in. It's a win-win swan involved. cheese uh, I don't, I'm sure well are you gonna come eat it with a cheese crisp attached, guys. Look at that beauteous thing. Wow. Don't come too late because you want to get that cheese pool. You know what I'm saying? like the super cheap cheese from Stop and Shop. The kind of cheese that barely tastes like cheese, it just tastes like dairy. to look at the comments and I don't actually see the comments themselves. So I don't know what kind of sensory bullshit is happening with YouTube, but it's just not cool, man. It's just not cool. Do you want to eat the cheese crunchy first and then do you want to try to make a cheese pull happen? Cheese crunchy. How is that? Make a cheese pull happen. Shouldn't we cut this first hands. with a knife? No, you need two hands to well, pull Well, it's too it. hot for me to tear, so you, you try to make a cheese pull. Okay, then you hold the plate. Okay. This is too hot. I literally don't feel anything. June doesn't feel anything. 
Not a lot not, of cheese. Not pull. much of a pull, but it looks tasty. Oh yeah, it does. What cheese is this? Cheddar. Didn't, didn't we have mats? No, I gave you the mats. Oh. You finished the mats. Okay. I do be a mats eater. Mm. Cheese and sourdough is like a perfect combo. Mm -hmm. You want a bite? I do want a bite, yes, thank you. That's an awesome snack. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the way to go, guys. Stuff it with some cheese. Yum. Wait for it to leak out and make a cheese cracker. Of course, of mm -hmm. course. You guys know me. I made a pita really thick, but I don't think it worked out, guys. I just don't think this dough is very active. Unfortunately. Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you, June. That's very satisfying. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Thank you for eating. Thank you for cooking. Hello. Uh, can you say it? I, I know it's not Chinese, it's not Mandarin. But, I've been but, saying like Fei Yuan, but I don't know Fei, how to say it. Fei Yuan. I don't know how to say it properly. You tell us if we're butchering it. What were you saying? Uh, just saying hi. Oh. Yeah, hello. Person with a very tough pronounced name. So shall I freeze the rest of them, or should I freeze the rest of them in? It's Pei Yun. Oh. English name is Angie. Interesting. What war is inside your head? You got the old brain wars going? Yeah, what wars are you talking about, Michelle Diane? She got the brain wars. That doesn't sound great, but I guess we all do. Sorry, did you say fridge or freezer? Freezer. Okay. We had a Venezuelan arepa today, so good. I love arepas. They are probably my favorite. Ooh, it's puffing! They're my favorite Central American food. And then it's falling. I wanted to puff more. Mexico isn't Central America, right? It's like North America. What is Central America? Uh, Give this girl a geography lesson. If Mexico is Central America, then arepas aren't my favorite Central American food. I love pretty much everything in Mexican cuisine more. Yes, arepas are very good. Damn, okay. Everything in Mexican cuisine. Yes, Mexican cuisine is a god-tier cuisine. God-tier cuisine. Guys, it's going to be really boring. I see numbers dropping off. There goes the numbers. Oh, oh, gender stuff, friends issues, PTSD, ADHD. Wow, that's a lot. Do we have any hot topics for us to discuss or should I just sign up? <laughs> or should I just <laughs> sign off? I'm happy to sign off. Cuz otherwise I'll just be making pitas for the next 20 minutes and uh, Well, Florence says this channel is her favorite place on the internet. Wow, that's what's amazing. Your, what's your favorite place on the internet, June? If you can count this as, it's kind of weird for me because I feel like I'm in my home. Yes, I know, Fred. Spice House Spices, they're fine. I have the cinnamon ones. You're not keeping me captive. I'm literally in my house, guys. Okay, well, that's... I guess are, there's just a sense of like, oh, I'm underachieving. People are sending stuff to the rest. Because I'm boring other people. Yes, meow. What about adding sesame seeds? That's a great idea. Maybe I'll do that on the next one. Thank you for the idea. Maybe on just one side. 
Dude, you bought so much cheese. Oh my god. I did. Show did the people. Show? Just. <laughs> Where was this from? A dollar and up. Wow. So these cheeses were on sale for clearance, a dollar fifty a piece. They are a original lactose-free probiotic yogurt cheese. Lactose-free cheese. They originally sold for four ninety-nine a block, but they were one fifty, and they expire on the 29th. And I was like, heck yes, I will take all of them. I will eat literally one block a day. How do you feel about the Stealth PRC sponsor? Oh, wait, Mikey Chen is not PRC. Yeah, I'm gonna need to see some uh, evidence of that before you He start. got into a huge fight with Uncle Roger, with Nigel. Uh, because Nigel was uh, retracting certain statements made by Mikey uh, that was very anti-PRC, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna need some evidence before you start slandering the good name of Mike Chen like that, bro. I don't, we don't go based on, uh... But tell me, is he pro-PRC? I don't know, also, man. Also, if he is pro-PRC, just let the man be fucking pro-PRC. Don't cancel him, you know? I mean, I'm not gonna cancel him, but I would like to know if he is, because I want to know why. Why he is. I want to know his public-facing reason. Um... Does everybody have to be pure for you, June? Pure? Yeah. Nobody is fucking pure. Nobody is fucking pure, guys. Least of all me, I'm a fart bag, and I eat trash food, and I eat expired cat food. Right. I oh, cool. haven't seen the West Side Story. Wow, he came, Aaron. Yes, because he loves me. He loves you. He's with Falun Gong. Damn, you're throwing around some accusations here. Who's with Falun Gong? I don't know. So she said, ML, Emily said he's with the Falun Gong, but I don't know who he referred to because the previous comment was my bad, not Mikey. I don't know. So is Falun Gong bad? Do they do weird shit? As I understand it, Falun Gong obviously got a pretty raw deal from their persecution in the mainland. Right. And so they have a pretty sympathetic origin story. Okay. Um, you know, it seems like the PRC propaganda is pretty bullshit about them. I don't think they were like a scary, dangerous death cult like they, the CCP makes them out to be. But they have in their extreme, and to be fair with what they went through, probably valid hatred of the CCP. They have sort of morphed into an extremely right-wing, uh, like xenophobic, organization that xenophobic xenophobic you know that word anti-chinese yeah like xenophobia yeah it's like a lot of anti-chinese propaganda that they do that is very very pro-trump because they see we talked about this before because uh. they see trump as sort of like somebody who is actually standing up to china so it is kind of sad what they become because of their persecution but you know if you got if you went through what they did uh it's sort of understandable so there's no there's no hero there's no heroes here really like most things in life. Oh, rough times, guys. Uh, Emily, why would the PRC make YouTube videos? Well, they're not making YouTube videos here so much as sponsoring it. It's just sort of like all soft propaganda. propaganda. But I gotta. I know we're. Didn't, I know people don't like the what about isms and the both sides isms here. But America does this shit too. Like, that's what VOA does. That's what basically U.S. foreign aid is. That's what, you know, organizations that exist to promote. Like, there's, you know, the U.S. has had radio stations, like, broadcasting their propaganda across Cuba for a long time. And any sort of, like, American-controlled press engages in the same thing, too. So it's just sort of like nation-state politics, you know. I wouldn't say China is, you know, they're not even close to being the first or unique among nations to uh, do propaganda. That's like a thing that's existed since nation states as a concept existed. Um, also, at, at least China is currently expanding through soft power, right? You know, trying to make people like them more through things like infrastructure development in uh, developing countries, through things like trade, and through things like propaganda. The US has generally gotten its way in the world through bombs. So, you know, if, if we're going to have, if we're going to have a uh, big evil empire controlling us, I'd at least rather have it He's be the playing. one not bombing us. Do you hear him? 
Yay. So how many people did I piss off with that one? Anybody? I don't know. Raise your hand if you're pissed off now. Hi. Hi. Are you playing? Nobody cares. I don't think anybody was listening. They're all asking. They're asking what's in the jar you're tapping on your face. Oh, um, it's just really fun, guys. I finished one of my facial oils that I got off of the free table, and I was like trying to dump out the last of the oil on my face, and it just made this really cute sound. So I thought I'd show you guys. I taught in China after college because I didn't have any better ideas on what to do. I minored in Chinese. And I liked the idea of living abroad, and uh, that sort of came naturally as a thing to do. I didn't have any job prospects and like any idea of even what I wanted to do after college, so it was basically just uh, time waste, like biding my time, you know, to see what would happen. And I don't know why June did it because she's crazy. My parents told me not to do it. Her parents told her not to do it, so uh, that's probably why she did it, is because her parents told her not probably. to. Probably. Do you want a farmer's market apple? I'll have a slice. Guys, look at this fucking gorgeous apple. It's so bootylicious. Look at that booty popping. Look at the little nods of russeting. Look at just the beauteousness of this frickin' apple curves. Popping everywhere. Okay. Cool. What did you say it was? What apple? I don't know what apple anymore, guys. I'm just going to eat it. Okay. It's been a while since I bought it, maybe two weeks ago. Um, have your parents been back to China? I think your mother has, right? Well, she was there when we were. They're both, they've both been back to China, but, uh... Right with your father, too. Yeah, my, my dad's constantly afraid of being just kind of scooped up by the Communist Party. Disappeared. I have had Cosmic Crisp, and I remember I loved it. You guys should stop buying Honey Crisp. I want to put that out there. Why? I sent you that article about Honey Crisp. That they take up like a lot more space and resources for apple farmers, and they keep having to tear up more orchards and plant more honey crisp because of the increasing demand for them. Mm. But there's like they're now developing apples that like taste as good as honey crisp, but without the drawbacks of you know like I forget exactly what it was. It's like oh, their skin is super thin, so they get disease really easily. So tons of honey crisp are wasted and thrown out, uh, and they get bruised really easily in transit. And so they're developing apples that are like Honeycrisp, but don't have the drawbacks. Dropping the facts. Also, we gotta kill, we have to kill monoculture practices before monoculture practices kill us. And by us, I literally mean like just all the living things because it's just not good for biodiversity, guys. Whenever we plant too much of one thing, it ruins the land, it ruins the environment, it ruins the animals, and it ruins us, even though it makes us a lot of fucking money. Yeah, where did you learn these facts from, Aaron? You're so, so smart. Which facts? Are you Chris facts? You're a walking head talk. I make everything up, I say. Every single thing you guys have heard me say was based on, uh, I made it up on the spot. Aaron's gone, the cat's gone, it's just me and my apple and my weird bread things. And the fish stock. I didn't know that the Cosmic Crisp can only... Aaron, didn't you bring me... Oh, no. Aaron brought me an Autumn Crisp from Upstate. Which is also very good. So. I was thinking of Autumn Crisp, which I love. And it's local to me. I think we've had a Cosmic Crisp, and it was just okay.
I've never had sugar bee apples. That sounds so good. interesting to read what apples people like because I really don't like ambrosia I would say three to four days for leftovers to be in their optimal stages Beyond that, you really got to use your nose, eyeballs, and mouth to see if it's still good. I usually eat them within 7 to 10 days max. Should we play with Fred on screen? He's in play mode. It's always on his terms, isn't it, guys? The steroid meds are probably not great for him. Um, he's been okay though. He's been pooping every day. Normally I get to shovel out the poop <laughs> in the morning. I'm on morning duty. Aaron's on evening duty. Um, whoever recommended the sesame crust. Thank you. Beautiful. Are you excited to eat one tomorrow with a sesame crust, Aaron? This is our last pita. I'm going to try to stretch it out really thin. Come then, buddy. Can't force ya.
He's gonna hunt that mouse forever. Come back! Come back! Did I scare you? I'm sorry, bud. Shouldn't have run for it. Michelle Diane, Fred has a lot of little toys that are ball-like. He does not really play with them. The only one that he plays with is the one that you just saw him bite that I've tied on one end of the string. And it's actually a little mouse toy that I made. Uh, and I stuck a little bit of homemade catnip in it. Um, so this is the only one that he likes to bite. Yes, you can probably salvage the sourdough starter. Is it in the fridge? You like the night lives. Everybody likes a different life. That is the case. Some people just can't make the daytime, and some people can't make the nighttime, so. I will just keep going live whenever I go live, guys. Yeah, if it's in the fridge, you can probably revive it. Just dump the liquid from the top away, and then I would say, um, you can probably still use most of it for discard. It might just be really acidic. You can toss that or you can put it into your baked goods and then start with the starter and feed it like you normally would. feeling the Sunday scaries yet, but it just, it just hit me. Capitalism sucks for rolling, ruining whole days for us. How about whole lives? Mm. Sesame seeds are so good. Now, Co, that is really hard to finesse. How big are your garlic pieces? Can I heat up some water? 
Damn, that sucks. I don't have any real advice because I literally just burned a batch myself. So I am not as good at it as I thought I was. Um, yes, you may. You may use that back burner. Do you like the way your noms are turning out? Yeah, how come it's a ring of uh, sesame? Because I tried to play with Fred, and by the time I came back, the metal had already set, so it was no longer gummy and could not hold on to seeds. Well, yeah, it looks great. I like the mix of black and white sesame. So tomorrow, we're just going to melt cheese on one side. You're going to heat it up in the pan, and you're going to get a cheese crust. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Cool. June got this, uh, what do you call it, getting the free stuff? Swag? Is it Mailer. swag? Mailer. Promo? Whatever. It's a uh, Shaka Tea, um, Sunrise, Mamaki, whatever that is, Hibiscus, Lemon, and Rose Hip. It's an herbal tea, which is, uh, so I'm having it at night. And as usual for companies that send June free shit, you don't get featured in a delish video that gets a million views. You get a shout out on stream to 230 people. So there you go, shout out. They were big enough to do a workshop with good housekeeping. Don't worry about it. I don't know why Aaron feels compelled to. I don't know. I just think if people find it interesting, do you guys find it interesting that stuff June gets? I can shut up about it if you don't want to hear it. I'll just make my tea without talking about it. I just don't it. want you to feel like we're obligated to shout people out for sending us stuff. I'm not, I don't feel obligated. It's just, you know. I might as well, if, okay. if they send us stuff. What else am I doing with my time here? Being productive, helping people? Hell no, I'm shocked now. Free shit we got, because you're sort of famous. Am I really though, guys? Not really. You're 240 people famous right now. Yeah. That's something. I bet you know 240 people too. They're not watching me right now. They are though, you're are here. This is, these are your people. If it was me, I'd have a mere thousands of people watching. Wow, okay. Yeah. I pull in the big crowds, you know. Uh-huh, yeah, I know. Thank you. June might be considered an influencer. Has June influenced you guys in any ways? If June is an influencer? Yeah, if June has influenced you guys at all, type it in chat. See how June influenced you. Oh my god, guys. I'm serious, so uh, let's see how June has influenced you guys. If you claim she's an influencer, where's her influence? Oh my god. Influenced me not to waste. Influenced us to eat expired cat food. Influenced <laughs> me to use my cast iron more. Uh, uh. To save money on food. Influenced me to try some of the weird food combos from that vid. Uh, be thrifty and creative in cooking. Uh, look further into not wasting food. Throw out less potentially sus food now. Not to waste food. Trash food influencer. Uh, save jars. Inspire and influence. I cook creatively now and try my best not to waste food. Also, uh, yes, she has influenced me to expired food. <laughs> I've had a lot of that. <laughs> Learned how to influence somebody to make jams. Oh, cool. Influence me not to waste food. Reduce waste. Creativity. Bean water is not waste. Oh my god, you guys! And Annette says influence me to not give a fuck. That's Hell right, yeah, Annette. Girl. I don't know if YouTube would censor me for giving the middle finger on stream. Probably not. But I don't want to fuck up June's monetization All more right, than the swears cool. I already have. So just pretend I'm giving the middle double middle finger to everybody right now. Hey there. Yeah. Not give a fuck. That's right. Get the pinky right. This is if this is offensive in Italy, right? Isn't this, are our Italian viewers uh, triggered right now? Whoa, she influenced me to overshare and open up more. Oh my God, that means a lot. That is my life mission. I want everybody to overshare until oversharing just becomes sharing. And you helped Michelle Diane influenced her with helping with the wars in her head. Michelle, if you have wars in your head, I think you need help beyond June. I, I mean, we all problem. have wars. Right. But it, it sounds like maybe a professional therapist might be. But also, I don't want to, 
listen, I don't want to be one of those people who tell you to go see a therapist because I've been told that before and it's fucking honestly infuriating, demeaning, and offensive. Sorry when if somebody, I Especially somebody person. who does not go to therapy himself, when they tell me shit like that, I'm like, go fuck yourself. Well, I mean, there's so, somebody saying they have literal wars in their head. That, that sounds serious. <laughs> That's all I'm, I'm saying. All I'm saying is, you're the person who has to live with you. You have to take care of yourself. And taking care of yourself does not manifest in the same way for everyone. And you have to do the work in terms of discussing with yourself and thinking it through what would actually help you. If watching these lives help you enough, and it's enough for for you to calm your wars down a little bit, then take that. And I'm so glad to be here to, you know, make that happen. But if you think at any point that you do need more than just these lives to calm down the wars inside your head and you can't live with yourself peacefully anymore, then yes, I would say maybe find another solution. Therapist or no therapist, there are lots of solutions out there. There are lots of things to try. Just keep trying things. Um, all of that to say, Everybody else's advice is pretty fucking bullshit because they're not you. They don't know how you feel. They don't know what you need. They can just project and they can guess and they can stereotype you and they can give you stereotypical answers for stereotyped people, but you're not a stereotype. Only you know what you need. And if you don't know what you need, then nobody else does either. So that's it. My point was simply that the June Like the Month YouTube stream is not a substitute. It could be a substitute for therapy if you can't fucking afford therapy in this stupid ass right. nation. But yes, yes, that's more of a problem with our health care. There's a lot of barriers to getting the right help, one of which is education because we're never taught about mental health, one of which is income and capitalism and exploitation and frankly, very damaging healthcare systems that don't make it any easier to stay alive. And the third of all is just not having answers to anything, which is fine. It's fine. We're here for you, but we can't help you to the extent that you need always, so you gotta you gotta give yourself what you need. And that's for you to decide. And there you have it. Our janky ass pita roti bread whatever bean. And I'm gonna eat these sesame seeds. And I'm gonna strain out this broth for Aaron. And I guess that's it for tonight. This right here. <gasps> Look who came back to say goodbye. Look at his little paws. <laughs> oh my god, Fred. Fred is therapy, honestly. Wheezy boy. Wheezy boy.